Hey guys, welcome back to Coming In TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at a Ghostbusters haul. Today, I went to my local Walmart, picked up this Ghostbusters 35th anniversary box. It's a uh, mystery box, as you can see here. Uh, I also got, in the mail today... Ghostbusters, the original novelization uh, of 1 and 2. Uh, I've heard people on the Ghostbusters fan groups say that this incorporates the supernatural spectacular of the uh, Ghostbusters novelization rather than the actual original uh, movie adaptation. Uh, the supernatural spectacular spooktacular uh, included uh, deleted scenes that weren't incorporated into the film itself um, went into more depth on uh, the backstories of the Ghostbusters and whatnot uh, but anyway I got this in the mail brand new uh, it actually came a day or early which I'm very surprised about can't wait to read it uh, there's the synopsis. All right. Now let's dig into this box. As you can see, I have already opened it, but I've left everything packaged inside. It is very similar to the other uh, mystery box, which came with the uh, Proton Pack statue, uh, and the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man and the water bottle and all that. Uh, however, it is smaller. This is only $20 at Walmart. And as you can see already, it comes with Ghostbusters socks. Very nice. Can't wait to try them on. It comes with Ghostbusters coaster set. Let's go ahead and open this up. Ray, Winston, Egon, and Venkman. Um, as you can see, these are done in the same style as the photo print, which came with the other uh, Ghostbusters mystery box. Exactly the same. Uh, I believe the pictures are even the exact same size, too. So that's pretty cool. Go ahead and put these back in here for right now. It is cork as you can see these are glass coasters drinking cup coasters whatever you want to call them. we have an ecto-1 air freshener pretty cool let's see how it smells if i can get it open Smells like smells like vanilla. Maybe like a French vanilla. Not bad. As you can see, these are from Culture Fly. Up next, we have the Stay Puffed Mini Planter. pretty cool uh, I could I could use some some vegetation in this office <laughs> we'll see fill it up with dirt maybe put some I don't know something in there okay. put that up then we've got Let's 
Slimer. Let's go ahead and lower this down so you guys can get more of a straight on view. Now, normally I do put review videos, like collectible reviews, on the Come Again Collectibles channel. However, I'm starting to second guess myself about creating those channels, uh, Come Again Collectibles and Come Again Vinyls. Because if it weren't for those two channels, which really don't have very many subscribers right now, um, I would be able to put out content for you guys uh, on a more regular basis. Um, let me know in the comments below if you like me doing reviews on this channel or if you'd like to keep them separated um, and put over on the other channel. Um, again, that's Come Again Collectibles and Come Again Vinyls or Funko Pops and whatnot. Um, so yeah, let me know that in the comments below. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at Slimer. Onion-headed ghost. This looks pretty cool. It's... made out of a plastic not bad can't wait to uh, figure out where I'm gonna put them so yeah something else that I got a while back that I haven't been able to uh, film uh, really uh, as you know I got the um, the other 35th anniversary set, uh, which came with this Proton Pack statue, it's pretty cool. It says it's made out of vinyl, but it doesn't feel like vinyl. It, it feels solid. Uh, so there's that. Uh, and then you guys saw the picture and it came with this Slimer water bottle pretty cool and yes that is me as a kid uh, it also came with A Stay Puff Marshmallow Man stuffed doll. Um, can't remember what else it came with, you guys. Uh, it did come with... I think this is the one it came with. This lunchbox. It's insulated. It looks like a uh, ghost trap. Uh, and then something I got separately was this one uh, I had actually got before I got the uh, box set which my wife actually got me for my birthday um, and this is just like a shaving bag I've got some stuff in here now some paracord and whatnot but I got this at GameStop on sale because that GameStop was going out of business pretty cool and as you guys saw, got the uh, film adaptation. It's in pretty rough shape, but there's that. Comes with pictures from the movie. Pretty cool uh, photo. Make a good poster. Uh, as well as this. I thought this was the novelization for Ghostbusters 2. It was not. It was a, a kid's book, basically. As you can see here. It's still a nice, interesting collectible. So there's that. And... 
it also came with uh, that other box that came with this notepad. As you can see, it's got the uh, Gozer kind of design. Gozer's uh, palace or whatever you want to call it. Pretty cool. And then, something else I got separately. Which we're gonna we're gonna raise this back up so I can show you is and my kids and I have been playing this one Ghostbusters the board game it's uh it's really cool actually it plays a lot like the uh, Aliens board game uh, which <clears throat> is currently out of print but. I've shown us uh, playing it on this channel before. Pretty cool. I usually play as Bankman. Uh, I do plan on eventually painting the uh, at least the Ghostbuster pieces and Stay Puffed because, as you can see, the Ghostbusters are just a solid. Color. Vankman is red. Ray is yellow. Uh, Winston is purple. And Egon is orange. So there's that. And it's a really fun game. Uh, I'm glad I got it. Uh, we have not. Managed to, uh, this over here. we have not begun playing the other two yet. Uh, here's the uh, instruction book for the first one. Field manual, whatever you want to call it. Uh, for the second one. And for the blackout uh, set. Uh, here's blackout. This is an expansion pack for the first one. I believe. Maybe it's an expansion pack for the whole thing. I can't remember, but we have not began playing that yet, so. Pretty cool. And I know the first one only came with the original four Ghostbusters. Uh, however, this one Actually, I think this one is kind of a standalone, kind of an uh, expansion pack, because it comes with the IDW Ghostbusters, all of them, all eight. So that's cool. Well, I don't want to say all eight, because there's more of them. Uh, the Rookie, I don't think, was included in this. And I don't think that came with the actual figure pieces either. But here's two. Which comes with Vigo. Um, a ton of others. I think this one even came with Lewis Tully in Ghostbusters uniform but I could be wrong um, so yeah there's that maybe one of these days if you guys want us to we'll film one of our uh, game sessions for Ghostbusters or Ghostbusters 2 or Blackout we do eventually plan on getting all of the uh, Ghostbusters board games so yeah, let me know in the comments below if you want uh, if you want me to keep putting um, review videos on here, or if you want to keep them separate. Um, let me know. The only reason I did transfer the uh, review videos over to their own channel was because I was worried that 
review if you guys saw too many review videos getting uploaded that it turn you off turn the uh, subscribers off that came because of my history and origins videos and whatnot uh, so yeah let me know in the comments below and talk to you guys again real soon take care if you enjoyed that video make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture also go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.